September 3rd, 1984, Hard Rock Legends Iron Maiden from the United Kingdom released their fifth studio release, the album Power Slave. Known for their epic classics such as The Rime of the Ancient Mariner and many other rock anthems, in this video we are going to review the classic Two Minutes to Midnight. Are you ready? Here we go. Welcome to the next video in the 80s guitar series. And as you just heard, that's the beginning of the song Two Minutes to Midnight from Iron Maiden. This is from their fifth studio release, Power Slave, a classic album. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to go over what you just heard, the intro into the first verse. We're also going to review the pre-chorus and then the chorus. Okay, so to begin with... Tuned to E440, standard E tuning, and it goes like this. Okay, so what I'm basically doing is I am I'm doing a palm mute where I have my palm basically rested on will be considered the fifth string and so I'm going and alternating between these so what I'm doing is the way I'm playing is I'm using my second and third fingers and I have my second finger on the fifth fret fourth string okay my third finger is on the uh, fifth fret um, third string. And I'm playing them together like that, so. And I keep that A muted. Now, what I do is I go. Okay, so I'm doing the same pattern with my second and third finger. Second finger is now on the seventh fret um, fourth string, third finger is on the seventh fret third string. So just like I did on the 5th fret, 4th and 3rd string, on the 7th fret, 4th and 3rd string. So we go like this. Okay, now when I hit these ones, I bend that a little bit. It's about a half bend. So I'm picking it two times. And I do a little bend, about a half bend the second time. So it's it's alternating between this. And then it ends down here. So what that is once again is the second and third finger. And this time I am on the second fret fourth string with my second finger. And then I'm on the second fret third string with my third finger. Okay, so we'll go through it slowly. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, now playing that closer to the regular speed. Here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So the first verse, very close to the part I just played, which is exclusively the intro to the song, basically goes through the same thing except for a small difference. Let me show you. So basically you heard I was doing this note. Okay, so basically it's Okay, so what I'm doing is just like I did in the intro with my second and third finger on the fifth fret on the seventh fret So what I'm doing is I actually switch when I'm down on the second fret, third and fourth string. I use my first and second finger because it's a little bit easier for me to get the note right down there. So then I'd be switching from the second and third fingers down here. And then I use my third finger. I hit that open A and I'm using my third finger on the third fret, fifth string. So, okay, now the third time through that, same thing up here. Okay, it stays up there instead of, of going down to the second fret. And then for the final time through, it's just like the other times. Except it doesn't do the bend. I don't hear the bend the very last time through that. So the whole thing. Okay, the pre-chorus. So to begin with, we're back on A. Okay, so we start. Okay, so I'm doing, I'm hitting the open E, open A, excuse me. So, pretty straightforward. Now I go up to, that's basically um, an F major right there. Okay, so I'm playing that with my third finger on the seventh fret, fourth string. And then I have my first finger on the fifth fret, third string. And then I have my second finger on the sixth fret, second string. So, like that. 
And now it goes down to the... So this right here would be a G major chord, G, on the third, or um, fifth fret, fourth string. And then I have my second finger on the fourth fret, third string. And then my first finger on the third fret, second string. So... And now the next one is the... And that's a, a C major chord starting on a G. So I play that pretty much barring my first finger and I'm on the fifth fret. So that's the fifth fret, fourth string, third string, and second string. The notes are G, uh, C, and then E. So. Okay, let's play that one more time. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then we go back to the F, where we're starting on the third finger, and that is going to be on the seventh fret, fourth string again. And then we go up to that would be a B flat major. So I'm doing the B flat on the eighth fret fourth string. Then I'm doing a D on the seventh fret third stringer, third third string. And then the first finger is going to be on the sixth fret second string. So okay and then after that we have so what that is is that's a C power chord. I'm doing that on the third fret fifth string. So I have my first finger on the third fret fifth string. The way I play it is like I use my first, third, and fourth. So some people can do it. You like to do this. They only use their first and third finger, but that's up to you. I like to use my fourth finger as well. So so that third finger would be on the fifth fret fourth string, and I use once again my fourth finger on the uh, fifth fret third string. Okay, and then I go to this. So what that is would be the same thing as doing basically the G major, except I have the root note would be a B on the uh, second fret fifth string. So I'm starting, I have my first finger, a little bit of a stretch on the B, and then I have my fourth finger on the fifth fret fourth string. So that's a B, a G, and then I'm doing again another B on the fourth fret third string. So I go, then we're going to do the next pattern. So let's go through this. One, two, three, four. Okay, so the next time through is just like the first time, except there's a different ending, so... Okay, now the ending is different here, it's... So it's basically an E major chord, except instead of doing the G sharp note, the notes are E, uh, G sharp, and B. The first time it's, they're doing an A, it's a suspension, suspended note, and then they go into the full E major chord. So the way that I'm playing this is I have obviously an open six string, the open E, and then I'm taking my second finger on the fifth, second fret, fifth string, and then I have my third finger on the second fret, fourth string, and then I have my fourth finger on the second fret, third string, and I'm letting that ring out. 
And then what I do after that is I take my fourth finger off the fretboard and I put my first finger down. And I'm playing the G sharp, which is the first fret, third string, instead of the second fret. Okay, so the way that the second part goes like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, so let's do the whole pre course. One, two, three, four. Alright, so as you heard the chorus to this song, <clears throat> so let's go through that real quick. Okay, so to begin with, so it starts off on the 3rd fret 6th string with uh, the G note. It almost sounds like there's a slight bend, just a very slight one. Okay, then after that what it does, okay, so what it's doing is a pull off, I take my first finger on the 2nd uh, fret 3rd string, so I pull off from that, and then I take the first finger and put it on the 2nd fret 4th string, so, alright. And then what it does is it goes up to a power chord, the C power chord, which is basically starting on the 3rd fret 5th string, okay, and I went through this in the last clip, so there's that note, and then there's my, I put my 3rd finger on the 5th fret 4th string, and I will use my 4th my finger on the 5th um, fret 3rd string, that's my preference. And then using that same form, I just do a power chord off the sixth string. That's a G. So. Okay, and then after that, it goes to a power chord. Same fingerings starting on the fifth fret, um, fifth string. Okay, and then after that, it goes. So it's doing pretty much a D minor chord, but it's starting on the F. And what I do on this is I take my fourth finger and I have that on the eighth fret, fifth string. And while I let that ring out, I have my other fingers. I have my first finger on the sixth fret, second string. Then I have my third finger on the seventh fret, third string. I have my second finger on the 7th fret 4th uh, string, and then once again, my 4th finger is on the 8th fret 5th string, so, so you go, so you hit that, just like that, and then after that you have two more power chords to complete the first part of the chorus, so that is on the 8th fret, turn on the 8th fret, 5th string, and it does the same pattern, same fingerings on the 10th fret of the 5th string. So you have...
Okay, so the next time through, the second half of the chorus, same thing. <laughs> So it's basically the same exact thing as the first time through. All right, let's go through that together. One, two, three, four. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the contents of this video, please select the like icon, leave a comment down below, and please, most importantly, subscribe to my channel. Thanks.